I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Statewide recounts are going on in Florida for U.S. Senate Governor and Commissioner of Agriculture races. Supervisor of Elections Katie Linhart announced that Flagler County completed the process Sunday after a 12-hour canvassing board meeting. Katie Linhart said a complete report with results will be released today. State law requires that the state receives the results of the machine recount by 3 p.m. Thursday. There's a meeting coming up in Flagler Beach, and you're going to want to know about this one. Flagler Beach City Manager Larry Newsom said the meeting is with the city, the county, the DOT, and the Army Corps of Engineers to discuss something not normal for the DOT. And the whole goal was to talk about the whole Dune project and what money's coming from DOT, which is kind of unusual because you typically you don't hear about DOT getting involved in dune work. They're mostly doing road work. Newsom said it is a public meeting on December 14th around 1 that afternoon to talk about money. In our next report, what the improvements will look like. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. This portion of Flagler's Morning News is brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport. Save time, money, and stress. The Daytona Beach International Airport, it's just plain easy. It's called jeweling, and it's apparently the new public health threat for our youth. Flagler County school officials say they're concerned by the practice of consuming tobacco through vaping. Jewels are more discreet than e-cigarettes because they don't produce clouds of water vapor. They also look like a flash drive, making them easier to conceal. They come in flavors like bubblegum grape, cherry, and cotton candy, appealing to teens. And just one pod contains as much nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. The FDA declared vaping an epidemic in September. In Florida, you must be 18 years or older to purchase vaping devices, but online there's no controls. And students say they don't even need to turn to the internet. Students at Buddy Taylor Middle say their friends are selling jewels for 50 bucks. Veterans Day was commemorated Monday in a ceremony in front of Flagler County's Government Services Building with a special emphasis on the holiday's origins with the end of World War I 100 years ago Sunday. John R. King has more. The ceremony also marked the naming of Flagler's Veteran of the Year Award with David Lydon, the county's veteran service officer, announcing the recipient as Marine Corps veteran Joe Kowalski. A lifetime member of the Marine Corps League, Kowalski was also the past commandant of the group and serves as a representative of the league on the county's Veterans Advisory Council and the county's Affordable Housing Committee. Kowalski is also an avid volunteer, spending countless hours working in kitchens or driving veterans to VA hospital appointments. The featured speaker for Monday's ceremony was Hal Kushner, a Daytona Beach physician and retired Army colonel and flight surgeon who told his story of being a POW for nearly seven years during the Vietnam War after his helicopter went down in 1967. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arking. Trish Vivera is your Flagler County Artist of the Year. She was recognized Saturday night before a full house as the Flagler County Art League unveiled its new larger space within City Market Place in Palm Coast. Vivero was commended for her professionalism, her style, and her regional appeal for her abstract and varied media works. Vivero was shocked to take home the honor. Artist Carol Baker won the People's Choice Award for her silk art creations that have garnered her national attention. A margarita ball aims to spread holiday cheer in Flagler County. Tony Magoo has the story. Well, the Palm Coast Community Center was transformed into a winter wonderland for Flagler County's second annual margarita ball last weekend. Cindy Evans, president of the Margarita Society of Flagler County, said she was inspired by the generosity of attendees to the margarita ball in Volusia County, started by her husband and two other community members more than three decades ago, to create one in Flagler County. Collaborating with Rebecca De Lorenzo and other community volunteers, the organization hosted its first Flagler event in 2017. While a lot of charitable organizations offer high-dollar ticket prices for entry to raise money, Flagler's Margarita Society asks something different of attendees to the invitation-only event. All their entrance is, is to bring really nice gifts for boys and girls at Evans of the Toy Racing Drive. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.